Imagine this hypothetical situation. The world is ending. Now also imagine in this hypothetical situation you're broke because you bought 12,482 copies of Glover for the PS1 on the night of November 16th, 2002. If the previously stated events actually occur, this video is for you. Yep, that's right. I'm going to tell you I can get rich off the apocalypse. Now since this humans can go out in a number of ways, I've decided to list a few scenarios. Let's get started now, shall we? Nuclear war. If all it has taught me anything, it's to release glitchy games with in-game purchases. Wait, was that not in the script? Well, what I do know is that you're going to need a mask. But I'm not talking your ordinary non-woven fabric run-of-the-mill masks. We're talking heavy-duty gas masks. No, I'm sure most people don't just have these laying around in their house. Which is understandable, but... You're really going to need one, because a nuclear fallout, a generic mask, won't win you any awards. So I've come up with a solution. You know those pinata things that you violently execute for their sustenance? Well, it turns out some fit surprisingly well. Don't ask me how. It also turns out they make very effective masks. I would avoid staying away from bats. Both kinds. They're also really cheap, actually. Way cheaper than gas masks. Who knew that the head of a deceased donkey would out professionally made war gear? Also, stop looking at me. Next, let's consider a literal zombie apocalypse. Regardless of how it starts, we could all unite under one thing. Money. So you bet the internet would milk the heck out of a zombie apocalypse. I think I already see a clickbait. Zombie bite challenge. Killing zombies ASMR. I guess a YouTuber's faking getting bit and then coming back later. Only for them to sell their zombie cure. Online as merch. Thus making the YouTubers rich by scamming ch ignorant children. Well, you gotta be that YouTuber. Show zero remorse. You're on the internet after all. All we do is complain and lie. By the time they catch on that you got scammed, you'll be swimming in a sea of gold. You know that or kidnap a zombie and sell its organs on the dark web? That is also, I guess, a viable option. Although, I wonder what these people need zombies for online. Unless. Oh. Oh no. Never mind. Next stop, alien invasion. The answer is simple, but it'll take forever. Destroy everything you or your family own that may seem anti-alien. Because that giant poster of Metroid Prime 4 back there won't be doing you any favors. And also, you might want to tell your new alien overlords all our resources. Gain their trust for a couple years, too. After a while, they may even choose to gift you a bunch of cool stuff. Now, of course, I love Earth as much as the next guy. Don't get it twisted. But imagine joining forces with aliens and doing a bunch of cool stuff. I eat an infinite supply of ice cream playing a copy of Gex 4, even entering a portal to the boss baby dimension at 3 a.m. You know, could have a bunch of stuff we can only dream of, so I would take this option if I were you. Robots taking over the planet, huh? Well, this one may be the easiest one to do. But it involves stealing. Get it? Stealing? I somehow even managed to let down myself. Back to robots, it is impossible for robots like these to look down. That would look wrong if they could and would definitely break them. So you're going to want to carefully steal their wallet. Get it? Steal? Yeah, blah blah. Stealing is wrong. Let's just say they kill your girlfriend. Don't have a girlfriend? Let's just say they kill your dog or something. Don't have a dog? Well, steal from robots anyways. You'll get rich. But Richard, what if the robot's heads are shaped like little ice cubes? What if they can look down? What if? Well, for the purposes of this video, they can't and won't look like that. You gotta remember, this is all hypothetical. None of this will actually happen. Anyways, next up, global pandemic. The answer here is extremely easy. Open a toilet paper shop. Trust me, people will buy it in the hundreds. People will hail it as a gift from the heavens. Meanwhile, you can buy a private island with all your money, not only staying away from a disease, but looking classy while doing so. I want to remember, only share your money with family and friends if you want to. If your cousins, moms, friends, uncles, cousins knocking at your door for money, it's up to you if you want to give it to them. Hey, Crowblock here, for example. I think it likes its hat. I say it because I'm not actually sure if Crowblock is a boy or a girl. I don't really intend or want to find out. In conclusion, slash recap. Buy pinatas. Do clickbait online. Join aliens in their conquests. Steal from physically handicapped robots and sell toilet paper. Now, truthfully, none of this will ever happen. These are all purely hypothetical, after all. Eh, good thing this will never happen, though. Right? Crowblock? Right?